The RE-03E millimeter wave human detection sensor by AI Thinker is going to blow your mind because it can not only detect and identify moving and micro-moving human bodies, but it can also report real-time distances in centimeters with a high level of accuracy. And that's not all, it can also precisely detect hand gestures and designated area and report results in real time. This module has the characteristics of strong real-time performance, high-ranging accuracy, and flexible configuration of algorithm parameters. Today, we are going to use this powerful MM wave radar sensor with ESP32, and let me tell you, the information and data I'm going to share with you, you cannot find it anywhere else, because until today, no one has used this sensor with Arduino, ESP32, or ESP8266. So don't waste your time looking for its Arduino library. Just sit back, relax, and watch this video. I also searched a lot for its library, but I could not find its Arduino library anywhere. At first, I thought I would use this radar module when someone made a library for it. But then I remembered the people who kept asking me in comments and emails if we can measure the distance of detected humans using the MM wave radar sensor. And the interesting thing is that with this sensor, we can not only measure distance, but also control any load with hand gestures. If you remember, three months ago, I made a video about the C1001 MM wave sensor and many people really liked it. The C1001 mm wave human body detection sensor can recognize human postures using a point cloud imaging algorithm. It can accurately detect if someone is lying down. It can precisely perform life detection, how long a person stay in one place. It can report if someone has fallen and it can also detect body static state. But the C1001 MM wave radar could neither measure distance nor recognize hand gestures. So, when I saw the RD-03E MM wave radar sensor, I immediately ordered this human detection sensor. Since this sensor doesn't come with an Arduino library, so I wrote my own custom code to read values directly from its registers. And in this video, I'm going to walk you through everything step by step from calibration to real world applications. We will cover four practical examples to show you exactly how to get the most out of this MM wave sensor. So, without any further delay, let's get started. The RD-03E radar module consists of an Artificial Internet of Things AIoT millimeter wave radar chip S3KM111L. It is an integrated single chip millimeter wave sensor SOC based on frequency modulated continuous wave FMCWO radar transceiver technology. It has a high performance one transmitter, one receiver, micro strip antenna, a low cost microcontroller unit, and peripheral auxiliary circuits. Some of its key characteristics are it operates in 24 GHz K band with up to 1 GHz modulation bandwidth per frequency, detects precise human movement, small motions, distance, and gestures both indoors and outdoors, comes with tools to set detection distance and adjust sensitivity. Maximum detection range for moving humans is 6 meters and 3.5 meters for slight human movement. Offers high precision distance measurement with accuracy of plus minus 5 centimeter from 30 to 350 centimeter and plus minus 5% from 350 to 600 centimeters. Detection range covers plus minus 20 degrees horizontally and plus minus 45 degrees vertically for sensing human movement. Gesture recognition range spans plus minus 20 degrees horizontally and plus minus 40 degrees vertically. Supports UART communication, enabling easy adjustment of radar settings via the serial port. Operates on a single 5 volt power supply, suitable for wall mounting. Typical application scenarios are smart home appliances, intelligent business, smart security, and smart lighting. The RD-03E model comes in a DIP5 package with an onboard antenna and operates within the frequency range of 24 to 24.25 GHz. It is built for durability with an operating temperature range of minus 40 degrees to 85 degrees Celsius and it can be stored in environments as low as minus 40 degrees Celsius and up to 125 degrees Celsius with relative humidity under 90%. 
The CINSA supports a five-fold power supply with a current requirement of at least 200 milliamps. Communication is facilitated through a UART interface with a default rate set at 256,000 bps. For the precise distance measurement, the RTTS 03E millimeter wave radar module should be installed 1.3 meters above the floor. You can see the front and back sides of the MM wave radar module on the screen. For the precise distance measurement and recognition of the hand gestures, the sensor orientation should be correct. While the radar module front side is facing towards the detection area and the headers are on the right side, the positive and negative directions are azimuth angles and the up and down directions are pitch angles. The range for detecting moving humans covers plus minus 20 degrees horizontally and plus minus 45 degrees vertically with a distance range of 0 0.3 to 6 meters. For detecting slight human movements, the range is plus minus 20 degrees horizontally and plus minus 45 degrees vertically with a detection range of 0 0.3 to 3.5 meters. For the gesture recognition, the model should be slightly tilted as per the manufacturer should be installed at an angle of 45 degrees. The motion recognition range is plus minus 20 degrees horizontally and plus minus 40 degrees vertically with a detection distance of 0 0.3 to 2.2 meters. For gesture recognition and micro motion detection, the range is plus minus 30 degrees horizontally and plus minus 40 degrees vertically with a detection distance of 0 0.5 to 1 meter. The RD-03E MMW radar module has a total of 5 pins labeled VCC, Ground, OT1, RX and OT2. Connect VCC to 5 volts. Connect Ground to the controller's ground. Make sure all the grounds are connected together. OT1 is UART-TX. RX is UART-RX. The operating range of TX and RX pins is 0 to 3.3 volts so you can safely use this radar module with 3.3 volt compatible controller boards. OD2 pin is reserved for future use. I connected the RD-03E MMW radar module to the ESP32. These are the minimal connections you need to get started with this module. For the connections, you can follow the circuit diagram. Now, let's go ahead and start with our first example that is reading the radar firmware version. If you understand how to read the firmware directly from the registers using specific commands, you will also be able to read other information. You can only read data from a register or write a value to hit when you know the module's transmission data protocol. And this is only possible when you study the module's data sheet. To read the firmware version, we need to send this command to the radar module. If everything goes well, the RD-03E module will replay with this acknowledgement data that includes the firmware version on the screen, you can see the return value format. Let's go ahead and take a look at programming. The program uses the hardware serial library. Let me tell you, you don't need to install this library because it's automatically installed when you install the ESP32 board in the Arduino IDE. So make sure the ESP32 boards are installed in the Arduino IDE. For guidance, you can read my Getting Started article on the ESP32. The RX pin and TX pins are set to 16 and 17, which are the pins the ESP32 will use to receive and transmit data to the radar module. The radar serial object is created to handle communication specifically for the radar module using serial 1 on the ESP32. The send command function is used to send a command to the radar module. It takes in an array of command data and sends it to the radar. The read firmware version function sends a specific command to request the radar module's firmware version. Then, there is a delay of 100 milliseconds to allow the module to respond with acknowledgement data. It then checks for the frame header identified by specific bytes FD, FC, FB, and FA. If it finds this header, it skips some bytes and then checks if an acknowledgement is present. If the acknowledgement is correct, if it's 0x00 and 0x01 is per the acknowledgement data, the program reads the firmware version in major, minor, and page format and prints it to the serial monitor. It's that simple. Let's upload this program. The program is successfully uploaded and now let's open the serial monitor. 
This is how easily you can read a register if you know about the transmission data protocols and frames format. Now let's go ahead and take a look at another example. The purpose of this program is to send a calibration value to the RT-03E MM wave radar module. If you understand this code, then you can write to any other register in the radar module. You can see that this part of the code is exactly the same. According to the data sheet, except for reading a frame of data that includes distance information and gesture information and the firmware version command, any other commands issued to the radar module can only be executed after the enable configuration command is issued. Otherwise, they are invalid. Similarly, if you need to issue other commands again, you must send the end configuration command first. That's why I defined these two functions. As per the data sheet, to enable the configuration, we need to send this command to the radar module and we also need to send this command to end the configuration. This set distance calibration function is designed to send a calibration value to a radar module so that it can be accurately adjusted for measuring distances. The function first enables configuration mode on the radar module by calling enable configuration function. It waits for 100 milliseconds and then checks if an acknowledgement is received, indicated by specific bytes in the response. If the enable acknowledgement is not detected, the function stops here as configuration mode was not successfully enabled. If configuration mode is enabled, we send this command for distance calibration. The command includes a frame header and the calibration value split in four bytes so the radar module can understand it. The command is sent to the radar and then the function waits briefly for the module to process it. After sending the calibration command, the function checks if the radar module responds with an acknowledgement for distance calibration. If the correct acknowledgement byte 0x01 is found, it prints a success message. Otherwise, it notes that the acknowledgement wasn't received. Once calibration is complete, the function ends configuration mode by calling end configuration. I have already uploaded this program and now let's watch this in action. On the serial monitor, you can see the enable configuration acknowledgement, distance calibration acknowledgement. So we successfully implemented the distance calibration. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the third example. This program continuously reads radar data, checks if a target is detected within a specific range and turns the onboard LD on or off accordingly and prints the message gesture detected whenever hand gesture is detected. I will practically demonstrate this in a minute. Anyway, let's move to the loop function to explain how to read the distance and gesture data. The program reads data from the radar module through serial one. Each data byte goes into a buffer and the count of received bytes is tracked by RX count. Once there are at least five bytes, the program checks if the data format is valid by looking at specific values in the buffer. A valid packet starts with double A contains a distance value 2 bytes, a gesture value 1 byte and ends with double 5. If a valid packet is detected, we extract the distance in centimeters and convert it to meters. We also extract the gesture value. The program then prints the distance in meters and the gesture code for debugging. If gesture 01 is detected, a message gesture detected is printed with a 2 second delay. If the distance is between 0.7 and 3 meters, the program sets a timer to confirm the target's presence for at least 3 seconds. If the target is outside this range, target in range is set to false, meaning no target is detected. If the target is in range for over 3 seconds, the LD is turned on. I did this to avoid false triggering. The program keeps resetting the 5 second timer to keep the LD on as long as the target remains within range. If the person walks out of that area of 5 seconds, the LD is turned off. I have already uploaded this program and now let's watch this in action. The great thing about the RD-03E MMWave radar module is that you can set up a specific area to detect. I want the light to stay on as long as I'm in this specific area of the room and as soon as I leave the light should turn off, the sensor can detect humans up to 6 meters away, so you can set the detection range as you like. Anyway, as you can see, the LT does not turn off as long as I'm in this area. This is possible because of the 5 second timer delay. 
even if there is a tiny movement, the timer resets, keeping the light on. You can use this set of first staircases, lawns, corridors, toilets, kitchens, anywhere, whether indoors or outdoors. As you can see, I have been in this area for a while and the LED hasn't turned off even once. Now, I'm going to walk out of this area. The controller will confirm for 5 seconds that I have really left the area and then it will turn off the LED. As you saw, the LED has turned off. Now it will stay off until I return to that area. But the controller won't turn the LED on immediately. Instead, it will check for movement for 3 seconds first and then turn the LED on. I have tested this setup many times and it performs exceptionally well every time. Now, let's go ahead and check the hand gesture feature. This radar module's hand gesture recognition feature is also very accurate. You should be within a distance of 0 0.5 to 1 meter from the radar. If you simply move your hand up or down normally, it won't detect it as a hand gesture. But if you swing your hand from bottom to top within 1.5 seconds, then it will recognize it as a hand gesture. This feature is perfect for situations where you don't want to physically touch a switch. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the fourth example. I've made some modifications to the code. This time I will control the LD using a hand gesture and I will print the measured distance in centimeters. I've already uploaded this program and now let's watch the selection. On the serial monitor you can see the measured distance in centimeters along with the LD on off status. Let's control the LD using hand gesture. It's working perfectly. In the upcoming video, I will use this in an IoT based project where we will monitor intruders and also control 110 or 220 volt AC loads. So that's all for now. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.